Students picked four bedding plants to place in four different conditions, humid, windy, sunny, and control. Each plant is then placed in a Ziploc bag with soil in it. Once that was completed, they recorded the initial mass of the plants before beginning the experiment. After that, each plant is placed in a certain environment to mimic various environmental conditions. One plant will be placed in the control environment, which receives normal light and air. Another plant will be placed in the windy environment, which is on a lab table by a fan. The third plant will be placed in a humid environment. To accomplish this, students will mist leaves with water and cover the top of the plant with a second plastic bag to prevent the mist from leaving. The final plant will be placed in a sunny environment, which is a lab table with four lamps positioned to direct the light on the plants. Some plants live in windy environments, some plants live in like sunny environments, so that's all going to change transpiration. So if they're in a sunny environment, maybe the water dries up really fast. So they need more water to replace those, right? And some of them live in humid environments where there's so much water in there that they don't have to transpire at all. So it just depends on the plants, and this lab is supposed to show you how this one plant can be affected by a different environment. Not only is this lab interactive, it can also help students for the future. This lab just provides like a basis of and a background information of plants. And uh, so I could definitely use that maybe in college if I'm going down a bio major. And even on the AP test, if I forget something about plants, I can always relate back to this experiment. I'm Caitlin Kleibert, reporting for WTV.